This is just a follow-up to what I'm going to be doing with the leftover silver for my uh, silver crystal growing video. Um, you have the anode that I was growing from. You'll notice there's some iron all over it, which came from the clip that I was using. Uh, that I'm hoping, as well as the iron impurities in my silver nitrate, I'm hoping will get fluxed out because it's going to get hot enough in this kiln to melt the silver, but not the iron. There's quite a bit of silver nitrate in here. I broke it up just a bit ago. There's also some uh, crystals on the paper that I used to block the light out. And that's from Creep. Um, if you're letting a dish dry out and crystallize, you'll find that the crystals will grow up the dish. Um, and that is pretty much unavoidable. I've not found a way to avoid it yet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the paper all the way around that has any sort of silver nitrate in it, and it's going to come in here as well. So I've got the anode. This is the cathode that I was growing from. I don't know why it took on the orange color. I am not sure at all. Uh, that's something I'll have to look into further, but that is going in here. Um, like I said, all the silver nitrate as well as the paper. And I'm hoping for around 20 ounces. I'm making water shot with this so I can use it in uh, just bits here and there on future projects. Um, so I'm going to fire this down. It's going to take I don't know, an hour and a half in this little kiln. And we will pick the camera back up whenever I'm ready, ready to pull it out and pour it in some water. After putting everything in, uh, and the paper uh, getting fired down first, and then just throwing everything on top, this is how much is left in here. Um, next step is to put it in here and let it melt. This is the gas off-put from whenever you decompose silver nitrate. So this is what it looks like after pouring it into the pan. And this is simply not going to work. Uh, normally when I pour water shot, I want it to be a nice little BBs, or at least close to uh, little little balls. And this is just flat globs. So what happens, the, the reason why this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, is because with the amount of water in here, when I poured the silver in, it was still molten or soft by the time it hit the bottom of the pan. And then when more silver piled on top of it, this is what you get. Normally, I use a five gallon bucket filled to the top of water. And that's deep enough that by the time the silver reaches the bottom of the bucket, it is completely uh, solid and won't deform like this when it hits the bottom. So because this makes it very difficult to weigh out and, and store, I'm going to melt this back down and pour it in a five gallon bucket to show you the difference. Another thing to note is that I had a little accident with my silver. You can see silver BBs all around my crucible. So the silver nitrate wasn't completely dry. It still had some moisture in it. And it boiled over and boiled down. And it even got a little bit in the bottom of my kiln. So I'm gonna try to clean the stuff at least off the bottom here as best as I can before I fire it back up. Looks like it's about done. Let's check it out. Yeah. That should be good. Let me get my gloves on. We'll pour it in the water. Now there's a couple of bigger pieces, like that, but most of it is nice small pieces of shot. They don't uh, all clump together 
like they would in the much shallower water. That is much easier to store and divvy up. The black that's down here is the bit of flux that came out. Something else you'll notice is that several of these are quite irregular in shape. Um, they're not nice round balls or BBs or marbles uh, that you'll see in a lot of shot that you might buy. Uh, that's primarily because this water is cold. It's probably just above freezing. Um, it's winter here, so. Um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring out a whole thing of hot water just to kind of shape the shot a little bit. This is perfectly fine for me, and I'll be able to use it and store it quite easily. But this was just a quick video to uh, show you what I did with the leftover silver and solution from growing the crystals. And uh, show you a good way to make water shot.